There's a lot of architecture in the world today on every continent of buildings that are much, much larger than you would think people of our height would build. Cities in America that look as though they were constructed in medieval Europe. The outside's incredible, but the inside is built like a palace. I'm not sure if there were even any schools of architecture back then. How did they know how to do this stuff? We're at the pinnacle of our civilization now. This is the best it gets. The best we've ever done. Look at the quality of these walls. Now you'll go through a, a neighborhood and every home looks the same. Had we known we're going backwards, everyone would be pissed. As an architect of 20 years, I like to look at a building as telling its own story. I like to say that stones don't lie. And they're giving us timelines of like a year. <laughs> it was built in a year. The history that we've been told is a lie. Why would a regular sized human make something so massive? How did they build that beautiful, beautiful building? Was that building here longer? I feel like the building was here already. What was actually in the towers? What kind of technology was up there? These buildings were built by the prior civilization. A beautiful, easy, graceful method of travel flushed down the drains. Nope, no more airships. And they have to lie to us about it. They had to write the storybooks. We learn about one fire, the Chicago Great Fire. There were fires in every major city. Burned to the ground. It's impossible for any stone building to be burning down. What's being kept from us is huge. What a world it must have been. So there's literally been a cover-up of history more than one way. Oh, the humanity!